billion dollar uh, media technology news and entertainment company. And we have two primary businesses, Comcast Cable, with mo which most people in the U.S. I suspect are fairly familiar with, and also NBC Universal. The cable company uh, is the primary provider, or is the largest provider in the U.S. of video, internet, and telephone services, and we do that primarily under this brand called Xfinity. NBC Universal operates 30 news and entertainment cable channels. They brought uh, two different broadcast channels with NBC and Telemundo and have uh, TV production, studio production groups, Universal theme parks, and Universal Studios movie production group. So we have a lot of diverse businesses, and we uh, started our investigation of OpenStack maybe a year or so ago. Let me tell you a little bit about where we were coming from when we started to look for some underlying infrastructure technology that could help us solve some problems. One thing that might not be obvious to you, uh, since you don't live in the world that, that I live in every day, is developing software in our current widely deployed uh, cable service is, is somewhat difficult. It's a very vertically integrated platform. It is something that we typically buy, the set-top box, some intermediate communication infrastructure and some servers, all from the same company. We have very little visibility into how that system works. We really can't get into the software. It takes us a long time to make changes on that platform. All of the intelligence is in the box that's sitting in your house for that service. There's very little that we can do outside of that box. And that box is pretty limited. So we decided that we needed to try to change the paradigm. And so we've been building for the last few years this platform called X1, which we're going to demonstrate for you today, here, live. And you'll see that this, you won't be able to see because we don't want our customers to be able to see, but I'll tell you that this platform, all of the communication that we're sending back and forth from our set-top box to our network is going through stuff that's running on top of our OpenStack production cloud. So this is a real world. <laughs> this is our real world next generation guide experience going to be demonstrated for you live. And maybe I can get Jonathan to come out here and maybe he's willing to help do the demonstration. We'll just pull out our little set-top box here. Hopefully without breaking our remote. <laughs> there we go. Would you like the remote? Sure. You're going to let me play with it? I will. So let me just set this up a little bit. You know, so our plan here was to put move, move most of the intelligence out of this set-top box, which is hard for us to develop on, and move it into the cloud. So that's a pretty standard model for everybody. We understand how that works. I just want to also brag a little bit that we were able to build most of the stuff in this cloud on other OpenStack software, so, uh, I'm sorry, on other open source software. So not only are we on OpenStack, but we're doing a lot of what you're about to see with open source software. This lets us build a much more personalized experience that puts content in front of users and makes our experience much more about content and getting you to the content that you want faster. All right, so let's cut to our demo. Our go. time is here, and a little eight-year-old boy. I think we can probably take the audio down, down if you want. Just, okay, now we, we can hear our little voiceover. All right, so we are. This is some live TV we're looking at right now. So why don't we? Uh, one of the neat things we can do is just search by typing. So you've got the remote. Okay. So we'll start typing for maybe Serenity or something. Serenity. Anybody movies? Serenity fans out there? Serenity the movie. <laughs> there we go. All right. And so here you can see it was easy to find. Uh, Jonathan just started typing, and it does uh, it sends all that information. Every single keystroke goes into the cloud. We analyze the search that you're trying to conduct. We figure out whether you're searching for a channel, for a particular call sign, for a network. If you're searching for content like movies or maybe even actors, and then we try to propose some search results. And let me just mention, you see the Rotten Tomatoes ratings up here. We decided that consumers might be curious about what uh, cr critics or other moviegoers thought about their, thought about this movie that they're considering to purchase or watch. And so we integrated, we did a deal with uh, Flickster and we integrated their Rotten Tomatoes service and it took us about three weeks to do that. In the old model where we have all the intelligence on the set-top box, it's impossible to load all this data, first of all, into the limited foot, you know, memory footprint in the set-top box. And here we can do it all in the cloud and just send the data back. I'm playing around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
So here we are. You cut the sound on the uh, on the X1 totally. Thanks. Thanks. Okay. So this is a the DVR here. This is all built in. And all you can see scheduled recordings. You can see the recordings that you've got. We preserve deleted recordings. Deadliest catch in Phineas and Ferb. That's uh, quite a stretch. <laughs> I have four kids. Phineas and Ferb is big in my house. <laughs> and Big Bang Theory, that's one of my favorites. So here we see, um, let me hit the OK button there. Yeah, it's perfect. So we, you decided that you want to look at Big Bang Theory. You go over to the right a little bit, as you saw Jonathan do, and you can see that we've got six different seasons, or episodes that are involved in six different seasons of Big Bang Theory available to you. And we tell you whether it's available on our on-demand service, or pre-recorded on your DVR, or if it's on broadcast television. And then you can set recordings and do everything else that you want to do um, directly from this interface. How about we uh, show some apps? Sure. OK. So back to the menu here. Yep. So you've got your obligatory weather and traffic apps, but sports, I think, is a good one. So one of the frustrations that I have when I'm trying to figure out, you know, where the baseball game is, or the football game, or the NCAA game, or whatever, uh, it's hard to remember sometimes which channel is actually carrying the game that you care about, or whether maybe your team is playing today, or what time the game is on. So as Jonathan just went through, you can see that we've got this application that comes up and helps you find the stuff that you care about. You can find your team, you can set up a recording. If the game is in session, unfortunately we're here in the morning, but uh, we have a couple of set-top boxes that are scattered around the conference. One, for example, is in the Cisco booth. If you go and play with it while the baseball game is on, you'll actually see the game in progress. And so we're integrating that real-time sports feed with the program guide information. And if you just walk into your house and you want to tune it up, you just select that game, and it'll let you tune directly to the game, or you can just get a quick update on the game by seeing what's on the app. This would be impossible for us to do on our own platform. What do you think? I think it's very cool. cool. So, uh, first of all, that was very brave. <laughs> this is live on OpenStack. Yeah, and I think this is this is probably the first time that we've had a set-top box demo up here. Yep. <laughs> this is not not the normal way that we think of OpenStack and, and interact with OpenStack. So that's very cool. Thank you for uh, for bringing that here today. Glad to do it. Thanks a lot.